Ronald Alley works at the Tate Gallery in London, where he's in charge of the modern art collection. What exactly is, is your job? I work at the Tate Gallery. I'm the keeper of the modern collection. What exactly um, does your job involve? Um, you buy and sell paintings for the gallery, or...? We're not allowed to sell. Uh, I play some part in uh, choosing works to be bought or accepted as gifts. The story of how the artist Harold Rapinski was discovered by the Indian teacher Akumal Ramachandra is quite an extraordinary one. But how exactly did you meet Akumal Ramachandra? One day last December, he arrived in the front hall of the Tate Gallery and asked uh, to see someone saying that he had slides of work by a completely unknown American abstract expressionist painter uh, of extraordinary quality. Uh, this was an important discovery. Anyway, I went down to see them and was immediately impressed and at the same time amazed that this artist was completely unknown. Uh, so I said to Akamal, um, would you like me to do something about this? Because I'm sure it wouldn't be at all difficult to find a dealer in London who would be delighted to show these paintings. Uh, so I telephoned the Mayor Gallery and uh, told them about the work and asked him asked uh, if they would uh, look at the slides and I gave Akamal a letter to take round with him. Uh, about three days later, Akamal returned to the Tate saying, terrific news, James Mayer liked the slides very much and he has agreed to give Shapinsky a one-man show next summer. How good are the paintings of Harold Shapinsky? When the history of art books are written about the 20th century, will Shapinsky figure prominently in them? Will he be a major figure, do you think? I wouldn't dis perhaps describe him as... A, I'm not sure I would describe him as a major painter. I certainly wouldn't describe him as a minor painter. Um, so I think I, 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 will, I, will, well, I would... I could perhaps call him a, a major minor painter. Uh, yes. And I think he will be mentioned in the histories of 20th century art, but he... Without being one of the pathfinders, he, he is an artist of real quality. You said it at the beginning of our talk, you're just coming up for retirement. If you hadn't spent those years with the Tech Gallery, and if you hadn't worked in the field that you do work in, what would you like to have done? Well, there was a, a stage in my life when I was... I had to choose between trying to go into some career connected with the arts, not necessarily painting. I was also um, very preoccupied with poetry and the other arts at that period, uh, and all something to do with the study of uh, natural history, especially birds. Uh, I don't really wish I had gone into that field rather than what I had done. I think I have been exceedingly fortunate and, and that things worked out very well, I've had a, a most interesting career.